hi friends my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial I will show you how to log error in SSIS script task so the agenda of today's video tutorial is how we can log the error in SSIS script task so recently I got a question from one of my subscriber Parveen Darbar and he said that I'm getting this error can you explain me what happened so he got this particular error message so this is the very generic error message in SSIS if you are using a script task so whatever code you will use in the script task the error message will be same so somehow you need to log this particular error to maybe a SQL table or to maybe a flat file and then you can just for example open the flat file and can check like what kind of error actually happened and then you can try to fix this particular error so if you are using a script task in the SSIS package then you should do the error handling otherwise you might get this particular error the similar error in your SSIS package and the package can run continue for a very long time maybe for several hours or maybe a day or two day and this pop-up message will be there and you won't get the actual error message and the package will run continue so if there is some error handling implemented in the SSIS package then you have two options that you can log the error message and either you can let the package run without any error and you can fail the SSIS package as well if you want so it's up to you what you want to do so I will show you both options so what I will do I will log the error in the script task to a flat file whatever type of error it will be and then initially I will let the package run successfully and then I will show you as well that in case if there happens any error then if you want to fail the package then how we can fail the package as well so let's jump to the demo so this is my blank SSIS package so let me open the toolbox and let me just try and drop the script task into the control flow window and then I can just right click and configure the script task I can click on the edit so the script task editor can be opened up where I can write my code in the C sharp language I have already created some videos on the script task and maybe I can share the link in the description of the video like script task in SSIS and how to debug the script task so you can watch those videos to know what kind of stuff you can do with the script task and I am also planning to start some tutorials on the C sharp as well so that at least the basic one so that you know how we can use the script task easily in your SSIS packages okay so now uh, you need to add your code here okay you can do anything like for example if you want to declare a variable here like int a equal to 10 then you can declare any variable if you want to declare another variable for example a string b equal to something okay so you can do anything so now I want to intentionally fail the SSIS package okay so what I can do is that I can try to access a SSIS variable which doesn't exist okay so if I will do that then the package will fail so I can write DTS dot variables and then double quote and I can type the name of my SSIS variable so I can write anything here like AA so I don't have any SSIS variable so this package will fail dot value dot to string okay so I can do something like this so at this particular line the script task will got stuck and it will show a pop-up message to you and it will wait until you click on that particular pop-up message or you close the SSIS package but it will got stuck here okay so let me just close this particular script task click on ok and now I can just try to execute the package so the package will got stuck on this particular line so you can see that a pop-up message got came here and uh, it will run forever until unless you click on close or you you know you stop the execution of the package so I have seen some scenarios even myself sometimes for several hours the package was running I thought that the package is running but actually it got stuck okay so what you can do you can close this one and now this got filled and you can stop the execution of the SSIS package you can open the code where the package is failing and then I will show you how you can handle the errors in the script task so you know that this particular code is written in the C-sharp language and you can write any valid code here okay in C-sharp language to handle the errors we have a functionality that we can use the try and catch blocks there is a finally as well but here I will use the try and catch blocks okay so what try and catch block does that whatever code you have that you think that can fail sometime so you can put all your code in the try block okay and then you have another catch block in the catch block you will actually catch the error 
and you can log the error to a text file or maybe to a SQL Server table or something. So what will happen that whenever an error will occur at some particular line in the try block, the control will immediately move to the catch block. The package won't fail at the try block. The control will move to the catch block and then you have the full control what you want to do in the catch block. So you can write the error message to a flat file and you can let the package run without any failure. You can do anything. Okay. So let me just write a try block here. So what I can do, I can write try and then bracket. This is the starting bracket and this is the end bracket. So I will try to write everything in the try block. Okay. And now in the catch block, what we need to do, we need to write exception ex. Okay. And then we can just add the brackets here as well. Now what will happen if the package will fail at any line in this particular code then the control will move to the catch block. Now in the catch block what I will do there is a single line of code file dot append all text and this will be the destination location of the file and this will be the actual text that you want to write to the flat file. So it is saying that the file does not exist in the current context so we can click on show potential fixes and we need to add a namespace system.io so a namespace system.io has been added into the namespaces if you see here okay now this error gone and now we can see that file class seems to be valid here dash file so here we need to pass the name of the flat file to which we want to write the error information yeah, so I want to create a log file here at this particular location, D files location. Okay, so what I can do, I can use and add the rate here, and then I can paste the location D files, and I want to create the new file as error error file dot txt. Okay, and this will be the actual message that you want to write into the flat file. So what I want to write, first of all, I want to write the package name okay so my package name is how to log error in the script class okay so I can write the package name here space and I also want to write the time the time at when the package got failed so I can write use a plus sign here and I can write date time dot now dot to string okay and then I can add an space here as well okay so this is how the error will be logged and i will share this particular script with you so that you can use it in your ssis package as well so what we are trying to do we are using file dot append all text method and we are trying to write to this particular file so if a file will be there at this particular location d file location so data will be appended to this particular file and if a file won't be there then a new file error underscore file dot txt will be created at this particular location and then in the beginning this particular text will be added that how to log error in the script as and maybe if you want to write like package so so that you know that the package name is this one and then after that maybe if you want to write like time so this is the time when the package got failed this one okay and this is the error message so you can write like error message so you can write something like this so now what will happen that when the package will run so the control will move to this particular location and the error information will be logged to the flat file and the package will run successfully okay so let me show you so at the moment we don't have any flat file here so let me try to click on ok so now let me click on start button so that the SSIS package can run and it can log the error to the flat file. So you can see that the package ran fine, the script task ran fine and if you go to the D files location so you got a file here error underscore file and the date modified is today's date 6th June 2022. So if I open this particular file so you can see that this is the package name how to log error in SSIS script task and then this is the time. Uh, 6 6 2022 and error message is blank <laughs> okay so what actually happened that I forgot to log the error in the SSIS package so let me just close this one and reopen the SSIS script to us so we need to log the error as well okay so I just logged the package name and the time of the failure but we also need to log the error message as well so I will show you just in a moment 
all right so now what we need to do here that uh, after error message I can add a plus sign again and then I can write ex dot message okay so ex is this one and this will be the message that will be logged okay so let me just close this one click ok now let me just try to rerun the package so the package run fine again and if you open this particular file again so now you will see the actual error message so this is the second time when the package got failed at 726 and this is the error message that the element cannot be found in a collection so it means that you are trying to find an element an SSI variable which doesn't exist so this error happens when you try to retrieve an element from a collection on a container during execution of the package and the element is not there okay so this is the actual error message that if an SSI variable does not exist in your package and you try to access that variable in the script task so this is the actual error message so if you go back to the SSI package so what happened that the script task ran fine but it logged some errors okay so if your requirement is that in case if the script task fail and you just want to log the error and you just want to let the package run without any issue then you can use this particular code but sometimes what we want is that if the script task is logging some errors okay and the actual errors it means that there is some issue in the script task and you don't want to let the package run successfully but you want to fail the package as well okay because there was some error if you want to fail the package that if it went to the cache block and it added some error information to a text file and you want to fail the package in that particular case then what you need to do you can actually copy this particular line from here okay so you can change the script results to failure from success so if you just remove this one and if you click on dot so there are two options available failure or success so I will select failure here so now what will happen that if all my code will run fine then the last line that will run will be this one script result dot success and the script task will be successful but if it got failed somewhere then the control will move to the catch block and the last line to execute will be this one script results dot failure so the script task will got failed but it will log the error message okay so let me close the script task here click ok so let me return the SSIS package and this time the script task should fail and an error should be logged to the flat file and if I go back to the D files location and if I open the error file so you can see that this is the last error message that this is the package name and this is the time and then then this is the error message that the element cannot be found in a collection and the package got failed at 7:38 am okay on 6th june 2022 so this is how you can log the errors to a flat file from script task and now you have the control either you can let the package run continue without any failure or you can fail the script task as well so i think that's it for today's video Thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button, do subscribe to our channel, press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much.